Freuen Sie sich auf bodenständige Küche mit dem gewissen Etwas im Bierhaus zum Augustin. Genießen Sie zeitgemäße Kaffeekultur im Café Domgassner und erleben Sie gut bürgerliche Küche und das historische Ambiente im Landhaushof. Werde jetzt Teil von Team 500 und hole deine gratis Garmin Uhr. Mehrere Infos auf klv.at. Gemeinsam mehr bewegen die Kärntner Landesversicherung. Verbinden Sie das einzigartige Spielgefühl eines akustischen Pianos mit der Freiheit, zu jeder Tages- und Nachtzeit spielen zu können, ohne jemanden zu stören. Mit einem Yamaha Silent Piano. Yamaha Silent Pianos mieten. Im Klavierhaus Langer um 79 Euro pro Monat. Wie können wir alte Muster aufbrechen? Vorankommen, ohne zu weit zu gehen. Ausbrechen aus Schubladen, in die wir gesteckt werden. Dem Stillstand einen Schritt voraus sein. Und stark machen für das, was uns wichtig ist. Aufbäumen für unsere Zukunft. To you live, the 24th World Body Painting Festival with the 2021 World Champions Special and Amateur Awards. From the Concert House in Klagenfurt, Austria, and from many creative hotspots around the world. And now, your host for the evening, please welcome founder and festival director, Mr. Alex Barendrecht, and co-host, Mr. Filippo Ayoko.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 24th World Body Painting Festival 2021. Once welcome. again on our stream online and live on KT1. I promised you last year that we should not do that once again, but unfortunately we don't have a chance and we have the same situation again. But from last year we learned and from last year we want to pimp up this show a little more. We have a lot, a lot of content for you and especially with my spicy friend Filippo Ayoko, my co-host, body painting, international artist coming straight from Barcelona to give me support. Filippo Ayoko. This year we had already the opportunity to go with Filippo on our daily recap shows. That was fun. Yeah, that was a great experience. And uh, Filippo, the recaps were sometimes a little tricky. Some people commented us that we are like from the Muppet Show, <laughs> Statler and Waldorf. Yeah. Thanks, Freddie Schmidt, for that. <laughs> What can Great the people company. and our viewers expect for tonight? Yes, Alex. The WBF is a hybrid festival. Once again, <laughs> this is a hybrid festival. And what does that mean? We have a lot of content provided for you online with the competitions, the academy, but also we have a lot of activities in our host city here in Klagenfurt. Yes, Alex, that's right. We have divided tonight into three blocks. In these blocks, we will show lots of stunning imagery from camouflage to action painting. We have the World Championships category in camouflage, right? Yes, but yes, that's a big award tonight. We have two exhibition programs that we're going to provide you. We have online awards. Talk about yes. the online awards. Yes, we will be covering installations that took place throughout the city the exhibitions, and eight online awards, and one live with lots of creations from top contestants. We are looking into the WBF creative hotspots. What that is, we're going to explain you later. And join us, uh, joining us on stage, our wonderful funk band, Jingle the two. Papa's Got Soul. Now, it's let's welcome now. our first guest of the night, representative and cultural director of the city of Klagenfurt, Alexander Karadovich. Alexander Gerdanovich, a very warm welcome in our show. Thank you for being here. He is the head and responsible person in the cultural affairs of the city. Alexander. The festival was very honored this week to visit you in your gallery, in one of the responsible parts in the city gallery. And uh, every year you give us the opportunity to lift our art a little higher by presenting body painting on a larger scale with a high quality. What, in your opinion, does the festival bring to the city and the cultural part, in, like from the cultural perspective? I think the World Body Painting Festival enriches the cultural spectrum of the city of Klagenfurt. It brings uh, more color, it brings vividness into the city. And uh, in the summer we have a lot of, uh, a lot of festivals, you know, and uh, jazz, we have uh, the classical music. And this one week of Body Painting Festival is indeed very special. Uh, because uh, because the, the festival collaborates with many institutions, like with the Stadtgalerie Klagenfurt. And I was very impressed the day before yesterday by Vilja Witkutte's uh, performance there, uh, Water Whispers. And uh, I think this is uh, one of the main uh, things that, 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 uh, that uh, fascinates me, how artists uh, can feel uh, the pulse of the time, like, uh, like Vilja Witkutte's fa found it with a human relationship to nature, you know? So this is a very important theme nowadays, and uh, how she put it um, in, into art, that fascinated me. And I think Klagenfurt uh, as a city, with its parks and with its buildings, and locations for the World Bo Body Painting Festival is indeed uh, predestinate to, to 
to, to host this festival. So I'm very happy that the city of Klagenfurt uh, hosts and supports this festival, yeah. That was also a reason why we choose to come to the inner city, to this beautiful Goethe Park, where we used to have our live event, because there are such beautiful architecture and cultural institutions, such as the State Theater, the Art House, etc., galleries around. So that just lifts and gives us a very high quality space. Do you think that the festival is dynamic enough to grow and to grow together maybe? In yes, I hope so. I mean, I know it's dynamic al uh, already, but it can even be more dynamic. And I think that uh, uh, the festival um, enhances many uh, sorts of, you know, musical acts, uh, body painting, obviously, and, uh, and uh, various performances. So I think uh, by doing this, you know, it becomes even more dynamic and more vivid. And by collaborating on various themes with many institutions, yeah. Fantastic. So, uh, for you, it's a very new territory, yeah. um, you told me, and uh, you haven't seen a live festival yet. So, I would like to take you in a little flashback to the last festival and the Ukra Ukrainian uh, the Ukrainian uh, fashion body and uh, like fashion TV channel, they came to uh, Klagenfurt and they featured the festival multiple times in many different clips and we cut it a little bit together for you. So let's jump into the past a little bit. One, jingle three. It was wonderful to go down the memory lane from the previous years and action painter Mike Shane is here with us. He has been performing at past festivals over and over since the beginning. But let's keep the focus on this year's festival in hybrid version. We have in total nine different competitions. Eight of them are online and one is live. Five of them are world champion titles that, and four special awards, one amateur. A lot of different categories, but in, gen, uh, in total we had participants coming from 48 different nationalities with 455 competitors. So 455 competitors and just imagine Everybody sent us a lot, a lot of photos in. We have like thousands and thousands of photos, interpretations, and the judges, they were really busy the whole week. So we are ready for the first award this evening. It's a classical competition, the brush sponge body painting category. This is a world championship title, and it's presented by our main sponsor, Pryland Professional. It is one of the biggest categories ever since and one of the most international ones. Last year, the first place 
came from Mexico, Noé Duran, and he also participated in some of the live events at the World Body Painting Festival in Klagenfurt, and last year he was online the winner. Let's have a look what, for him, the difference make it between the live and the online. Hola, ¿qué tal, Mexico? Hola, ¿qué tal? Saludos desde México. El evento en línea lo haces desde casa, con tu familia o con tus amigos. Tienes el apoyo aquí y eso te da confianza. Es algo de lo muy bello que te puede dar el evento en línea. Sin embargo, el hacerlo en vivo, el asistir a Klagenfurt, es mágico porque tienes otro tipo de familia, hermanos de colores de otros países, tradiciones, idiomas, conceptos, colores, y eso no tiene comparación. Me encantaría invitar a todos nuestros amigos a que visiten Klagenfurt y vayan especialmente al World Body Paint Festival porque para mí es algo de lo mejor que me ha pasado en mi vida. De verdad que sí. So, let's have a look together on the best submissions in this category. We put together a slideshow for you with the top 20 entries, but this is in random order. <laughs> Incredible work that got in in this category, and this is the world trophy for this year. Alexander, we're going to hand over virtually that to our winners, but let's have a look who are the top four, once again in random order. Marian Folga from Poland. Francesca Cavicchio from Italy. Lucia Postacchini, also from Italy, and Irene Galdon Sanchez from Spain. Not bad. Two Italian, one Spain, one Polish. And the winner. The winner in this category. World Award 2021. It's coming from Italy, Francesca Cavicchio. Wow, what a beautiful work that you can see here. Francesco Cavicchio from Italy with 112 points. Let's have a look on the top 10 while the crew back then, back there, tries to connect with her life. I hope we can get her. Lucia Postacchini is on the second place with 110 points. Marian Folga from Poland and fourth place Irene Galdon Sanchez. Nicola Loda, another Italian with 100 points. We have Silke Kirchhoff from Germany. She was painting in Klagenfurt this week. Anna Chapulavov from Italy. Sophie Fouquet from France and Adrian Gomez Castro from Mexico. Marc Carilla from Spain. Wow, that's a very international field. That's how we used to be on stage at the World Body Painting Festival to have so many different participants. So in the meantime, I can hear on my magic fairy knob here, uh, Karin, by the way, <laughs> she's telling me that we have her life in the chat. Francesca, 
Can you hear me? Ah, she's almost there. One, Francesca. Francesca Cavicchio, world champion 2021. There she is. Can you hear me? She got lost, I heard, unfortunately. We tried again. I hope she can connect with us. Maybe she got so excited that she dropped everything. The computer, the phone, the mic. Congratulations to Italy. We tried maybe a little bit later, but we are moving on. Alexander, thank you for being with us tonight. We would have loved to send that to Italy straight away. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. We need that support. Without this, it's impossible to have such a production, such a festival. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, and congratulations. Welcome to my interview lounge. My first guest tonight is Lithuanian media, multimedia artist, Vilja Vitu. Vilja, hello, hello, hello. I have these two cutouts. Can you please tell us the story behind these two whales? Yes, sure. I'm very happy to introduce you the project, The Memory of Water, which is the gathering of my artistic experience and that brought me on the same journey with my dear friend, Malgosia Sush. And we got opportunity to create a project that speaks about the environment in its true way, uh, art is creating in sustainable ways, in multidisciplinary ways, in photography, dance, body painting, film, and Yes, and we are working basically about the water, about marine life, protection of it with different scientists, environmental protection uh, organizations. And we are very happy to share the awareness through our art. And finally, we have the first opportunity to bring it here to the World Body Painting Festival for the first time, the first exhibition of this project and Great. the performance as well. Great, and how, how difficult was it working in, uh, in the Arctic? Yes, our project took also the first part uh, with the art residence in the Arctic. And yes, this is something unusual for the body painting, I would say, as a location. Who would create something in the Arctic, yeah? But Arctic is a very special place. It's wild and it's, it's something also special to work about marine life there. And the weather is a challenge, of course. Uh, yes, and yes. was it cold? <laughs> For me, no, I love the cold. Yeah. I enjoy it. Uh, and I bring the very powerful models with me, people around me, so we manage it, you know? Oh, okay. When you have a right mindset, you are ready for everything. Oh, and okay, and any sightings of polar bears chasing up the models? <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> we were looking for them, but just the elks and seals. Ah, okay. So. <laughs> I was at the exhibition. Uh, there were many people there from locals to internationals. It was fantastic. Our video team put up uh, together a, a montage. So let's have a look. Yeah.
Thanks, Vilia. And thank you to our video team for putting that video together. Now let's move on to next award, a special award in creative makeup, presented by Krylon, uh, by Mac. Sorry. Last year's winner was Joy Sparkman. We asked her what her biggest challenges were to be in our competition for the first time. Hello, I am Joyce, a candy makeup artist, and I won last year's category uh, Creative Makeup with the theme Candy. And this is the award winner. <laughs> So, the idea behind my artwork is uh, inspired by one of the seven deadly sins, uh, gluttony. And I really thought gluttony portrayed uh, the team candy very well. Uh, so that's why I chose it. And I also built a whole costume around it, inspired by gluttony, and finished it with like all kinds of small of candy details and stuff. I completed at a very, very small notice. I only knew like one and a half weeks beforehand that I was going to compete. <laughs> uh, luckily, Superstar Oosterhout, one of the hotspots, uh, really supported me very well. But I also had a very sweet, sweet model that, uh, that was also very nice. How my experience was uh, the, uh, with the online competition compared to the live one, um, I never did the live one. This was my first competition. I really wanted to go there one day, but I'm always so busy and it just didn't happen. So hopefully next year, then I will be there. Hard gefeliciteerd naar de Nederland, Joyce Sparkman. Groetjes naar de Nederland, hartstikke bedankt. And we are having here now Vilia. Thank you for joining me on stage to hand over the second award for tonight. The Creative Makeup Award. It's a special award presented by Mac Pro. Pro. We having a slideshow set for you again. The top 20 of this competition, which was a very strong competition, almost 100 competitors from like 40 nationalities are sending us their work. Let's have a look on the top 20 in random order. Incredible work in the creative makeup competition, very strong, and they are always a highlight for the whole photo crew in the festival when it becomes to a live event. Now we just have to enjoy the submissions by them, but they did really good in their photography as well. We're coming up to the top four in this category, so we can hand over this beautiful trophy. Top four. Coming from Finland, Yasmina Walters. Katarina Atli from the Ukraine. Olga Sokolova from Russia. And Jin Wan Lo from Malaysia. And... The winner in this category this year with 147 points. Coming from the Ukraine, Katarina Adli. Congratulations. Again in the Ukraine, we are sending this award to Katarina Adli. What a beautiful work. In the meantime, 
while we try to chat with her online, we're going to have a look on the listing of the top 10. We have Jasmina Walters on second place from Finland. We have Jin Lo Guan from Malaysia. We have Olga Sokolova from Russia. Olga uh, Olena Semets also from the Ukraine. An Hyong Te from South Korea. Katya Sigrist from Switzerland. Ji Lin Li from Taiwan, Emma Riesinen from Finland, and Yon Yo Che from South Korea. Okay, unfortunately, no live, no live chat. Privet Kiev, I wanted to say, but this cannot happen. I remember that Katarina was also at the World Body Painting Festival with the Cody Group um, in 2018, 2019. She performed under the top 10, and I'm very happy to send her this trophy. First place, Spasiba Balshoye Pastravlayu Spiervavam Mestam. So, back from the Ukraine to our host city, Klagenfurt. The capital of the southern region in Austria is surrounded by pristine lakes by alpine mountains near the border of Slovenia and Italy. To understand the, effort, the effects of the air we breathe here in our city, I would like to share with you some visuals. Everything can happen, but nothing has to. very delighted to have Mrs. Helvig Eva Kandut here, the owner of the renowned hotel Sandwirt. Is she here? Music. Is Eva Kandut here for me? Beautiful. Hello and welcome. 
Helvig, thank you for joining us. Eva, she's the owner of the renowned hotel Sandvir. She is also part of the directors of the Tourism Association, and she's representative of the association, which we have a big support of them. Without this support, I mentioned already earlier, this would not be possible to create such a festival when it comes to a live event. Helvig. I don't know if you saw the video clip that we presented just before. It's that creative promotion that you put together to promote Klagenfurt. It's such an amazing one. I think it got awarded many times. Um, how important is it to have an international audience in the city, especially from the touristic point of view? So international festivals are, of course, always a big chance for a city to show all its treasuries they have and uh, of course to host international guests and also to send beautiful pictures of the city all over the world. Um, the World Body Painting Festival is in my eyes something uh, like a door opener to other countries and of course is influencing the tourism and I would say the city itself. When I'm thinking of the days of uh, the festival, uh, it is such a great, amazing atmosphere here. Um, there is a great potpourri of so many different nationalities, languages, cultures, of course, different uh, types of art, music, painting, dancing, all that. And I think during these days, when you're walking through the city, you can find in almost every corner innovation and also trends. So yes, the World Body Painting Festival is very important for us, and we are uh, pleased to be uh, the host city of the World Body Painting Festival here in Klangfurt, with so many guests coming and participating all over the world. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a lot of visitors from us too. The festival has also had in the past several programs, not only in the Goethe Park, but spreading out around the city with different approaches in programs. And some of the live activities we also had at your hotel, if you remember. Oh, yes. When I it do. was live. <laughs> <laughs> How was the experience with you working with body painting and the artists surrounded by your hotel, basically? How, how was that? collaboration? So um, it is always exciting because every year when an artist and his model is coming into our house, they are standing in the middle of our hotel lobby or in the middle of our coffee shop. And the guests are really surprised because they don't know what is going on now. And uh, it's then interesting to see how they start to look around and to ask and to follow up uh, the process, how the artworks grow from hour to hour, because it takes, I don't know, every time seven to eight hours, a long time. Yes, and uh, in the end, when the artwork is then finished, all, all are happy, satisfied, and excited. And this year, we tried to get a little bit of the feeling together, a little bit in small, uh, together uh, in the streets of Klagenfurt, in the inner city, and we had some installation art projects which we would like to show you now.
We had many Italian artists uh, to this week in the uh, World Body Painting Festival weekend. One of them is there, a model camouflaged into the background of the organ, Johannes Stetter, coming from Südtirol, also Italy, is uh, this artist, and we're going to invite him later for some talks. Uh, all these Italian artists just show how near the border is to our region. We are very near to Slovenia, we are very near to Italy. What do you think of how the Three Borders region has an influence on our life, on our culture, on our tourism, of course? Well, the Three Borders region definitely influences our lives and, of course, the tourism. Um, what does that mean? In, in, in Within one hour drive by car, it is possible to get from one region to the middle of the other region. This is another country. Um, so this is a high potential. And when I'm thinking, for example, uh, to, for uh, winter times, when you wake up here in this region, you can decide what should I do today? Should I go up to our mountains for skiing? Or should I go with one hour drive to the next nearest golf course to play a golf round? So this is amazing. So it, it's such, such a huge potential um, what we can do here and of course the tourists can do. And I think this is one of the reasons why Tourists, guests love to come to the region and, of course, love to, love to come to Klagenfurt am Wörthersee. That's why it's also the perfect spot for us as an international festival to be here in Klagenfurt, very close to these areas. Thank you. Um, there were really many artists coming this week, also for the online competition. I explained before that we have an online award. We have eight online awards and only one live award, but all the artists who are participating in the online awards, they're usually painting from home, but some decided to come to Klagenfurt, and we featured them in this short clip. This year, we had many artists painting around the globe. Some not wanting to paint from their homes, they gathered into what's called WF Creative Hotspots. In total, we had 16 of these hotspots from Korea, Spain, to Ukraine, and Costa Rica, to name a few. For some, we got awesome footage. Others, we interviewed. And from some, put together great montages. Let's have a look.
the world was in full body painting mode. Every city around the world was painting and sending out all the submissions. But now we are coming to our third award this evening. It's another world champion title, a world award in the category Airbrush, sponsored and presented by Kryland Makeup. In the last year, the multiple world champion Alex Hansen won this competition. And we ask him how he prepares for such a competition. Hey everybody, this is Alex Hansen. How you doing? I'm back for COVID-19 edition number two. I just want to talk to you about my experiences of last year and how much it was such a great event. It was so much fun to do. I think I won because I was well prepared. Uh, I had a lot of time in my hand because of the COVID-19. I, uh, I was alone for three months in an apartment, so I had time to produce. Uh, definitely research uh, and the love for the theme. I love the theme so much. Well, my inspiration, like I, I was explaining earlier was, um, it's basically circus. I've always been a big fan of circus. Uh, I love that theme. Uh, inspired from clowns. I love like uh, clowns from outer space, I like science fiction movies and stuff like that. So for me, it was was a great, great theme, and I had a lot of uh, great ideas for it. I had I did like, like like four different drawings for it. So that's pretty much it. Brazilian artist Alex Hansen living in Italy. He performs really well and he's one of the best airbrush artists around the world. He's also competing this year. Let's have a look on the top 20 in random order in this beautiful slideshow. Category Airbrush presented by Kralen, a very technical competition with lots of details on the models. The top four in random order are coming from Italy, Lucia Postacchini. Once again, she was already before painting and brush. Another Italian, Giussi Campolungo. Brazilian artist, Alex Hansen, the winner from last year. And from Colombia, Celeta Riano Diego Alejandro. Wow. Two Italian, one Brazilian, one Colombia. And the winner. Helvig is giving out this beautiful world champion trophy to, once again, Brazil, Alex Hansen, 110 points. Congratulations, Alex Hansen. How about? We tried to connect with him. Maybe that works out this time. In the top listings of the category Airbrush, we find Giuseppe Campolungo from Italy. Oh, and another one Italian, Lucia Postacchini, 93 points, top three. Diego Alejandro Cas. Caleta Riano from Colombia, Alexis Javier Aranas Ramirez from Mexico, Jennifer Little from Canada, Tatiana Vasilenka from Ukraine, Jose Sanchez from Mexico, and Gerson Sanchez, Colombia. Tiziana Kamaki, Kamachi also from Italy. Wow, Italians are really very strong in all of the category. So let's have a look. Do I hear an Alex Hansen on the other line? No. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Alex. I can Come hear on, a little bit. Yeah. 
Alex Hansen. Once again, congratulations. Um, Alex, how many world champion titles do you have already? <laughs> Alex, congratulations. How many trophies are you going to collect? <laughs> Sorry? How many trophies do you want to collect, actually? This is number six, seven, eight? I think I'll stop at 20. Seven now. <laughs> And I see a whole bunch of people behind you. Are these Lucia and Lucia. Juicy ah! Campolongo? Look, Campolongo. place two and place three. Wow, incredible. Everybody at the same spot. Well, congratulations to Italy. We see you next year live in Klagenfurt for the academy, for the competition, yes, for, sure. for fun, for beer, for champagne. Congratulations to Italy. Alex Hansen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, dear Helvig. Thank you for joining us. I know you're very tight. We did a little longer than you expected. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you for your support. Goodbye. Bye. So we're going to have a little short break, only two minutes, and we'll be right back. In the meantime, our wonderful band, Papa's Got Soul, will play music for you. auf bodenständige Küche mit dem gewissen Etwas im Bierhaus zum Augustin. Genießen Sie zeitgemäße Kaffeekultur im Café Domgassner und erleben Sie gut bürgerliche Küche und das historische Ambiente im Landhaushof. Spielgefühl eines akustischen Pianos mit der Freiheit, zu jeder Tages- und Nachtzeit spielen zu können, ohne jemanden zu stören. Mit einem Yamaha Silent Piano. Yamaha Silent Pianos mieten. Im Klavierhaus Langer um 79 Euro pro Monat. Werde jetzt Teil von Team 500 und hol dir deine gratis garmin uhr Nähere Infos auf klv.at. Gemeinsam mehr bewegen die Kärntner Landesversicherung. Können wir alte Muster aufbrechen? Vorankommen, ohne zu weit zu gehen. Ausbrechen aus Schubladen, in die wir gesteckt werden. Dem Stillstand einen Schritt voraus sein. Und stark machen für das, was uns wichtig ist. Aufbäumen für unsere Zukunft. Welcome back. Joining me now are Birgit Myrtle and Bella Volin. 
two well-known faces from the WB community. Both have been with us for many years, and both have created eye-catching installations. Bella, one of your specialties is color and design theory. Please explain to us a little about this. Final result. Let me change. Very good. Do you hear me better now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> if the world of art is a tree, it needs always a foundation. And the color theory, the design theory, the drawing, they're the roots. And then the final result, it's pretty much like the fruits. I was very privileged to be born in an artist's family to have a very long art education. And I have tried to take that intellectual complicated knowledge to really make it simpler and to try to teach others because this foundation makes life, the life of an artist much easier. It gives you a background, which at the beginning it's kind of confusing, but with time it becomes very natural and it just makes the whole process of creation easier. Oh, very interesting, very, very interesting. Now, Birgit, you are well known for creating some of the most creative and magical moments on the former stage of Life Ball. Please tell us how you got started with such an important event. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was working for the Life Ball, I think, for over 20 years. Uh, we, are st we started very in a small, small team. And after these 20 years, we were growing up like a team of over 100. So we, are, we was res responsible for the makeups, uh, body paintings, some hair for the opening ceremony, and sometimes for, uh, also for the fashion show, for, I don't know, super, super, super fashion designers like uh, Vivian Westwood, Galliano, uh, Thierry Mugler, so it was always incredible to work there with my team. It was really amazing there. Fascinating. I was there once, but I didn't last <laughs> oh, yeah. that long, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> so, Bella, you have watched all the installations this week. What is the difficulty of creating in an open space in public, in your opinion? That's a great question, Filippo. You know, the difference this year in the installation was that this year they were not at the festival ground. They were in the middle of the city, downtown, open space. And this is, a, for me, a very big difference, and it makes it so special. Because to the festival, very often come people who are in, already interested in art. But I think this installation gave a great chance to people who are just passengers, passing by, to have a chance to get to know a little bit of our world. What is the difficulty? It's a very complex installation. It's in general a very complex multimedia work because the artist can work with a human body, with props, with fashion, with land art, with poetry, sound, so many different elements. When you create such a artwork in a gallery space, in a controlled environment, in a studio, it's easier because you have more control. Outside, you have passengers who are maybe strange, who maybe come too close, who maybe disturb your models. So, and then we have the weather conditions. So it's a very complex element for an artist to get out of that constant trance condition and be aware and also careful with everything which is happening around. But I think it's a blessing for such a place to have a chance so many artists to be downtown and really interact with the people. Great, and actually, I was an artist that had an installation. And we loved it. Yes, and I want to say, sun, block, because as everybody knows, I got fried. So Birgit, how about you? In your opinion, tell us what you think of, of performing or doing installations in public, because I, I know you've done some. I, I don't, I, so I did some, I don't know, maybe 10 times installations uh, around here, also in Klagenfurt. And my last one was in, in the Museum of Modern Art two years ago. And I was also the winner there. 
And it was an really, it was an amazing show with my team, with uh, artists uh, from all over the world. Uh, I don't know, uh, musicians and dancers, okay. and it was very magical. It was like in a chapel. Okay. But, yeah. Okay, we actually have a highlight clip of installation projects that took place on Wednesday. Let's have a look. Very cool. What did you guys think? I love that. And I think what was really special was that this year, all the installation had a very powerful me message about the contemporary world and the way we live in and what we damage. Yes. Indeed, indeed. So, we are now moving on to the next award, the category Face Painting, presented by Superstar. And they also hosted a WBF creative hotspot. Let's take a look. Hi, everybody, here live from the WBF hotspot in the Netherlands at the Superstar Factory. So what, what would you miss the most about face painting, body painting, if COVID did last like for five years or more? Well, I think friendship, learning new people. Yeah, what do you miss? Well, the people, my friends, worldwide, and I miss color in the world. <laughs> we are giving everybody the opportunity to get better in what they already are doing. So you could teach in for beginners lessons or advanced or special effects. And Michael will tell you the rest of the story. <laughs> well, we just want to bring hope and positivity. What else do we need? We have prepared for you the top 20 submissions in random order. Alex, can you please take it away? World Face Painting Awards presented by Superstar in the Netherlands. The face painting uh, category is also a very, very strong category, and I'm very happy that Birgit will hand over the World Championship title in this category to someone from either, we say, the top four are coming from Mexico. Adrian K. 
Castro. Another one from Mexico, Ana Maria Castellan. Malaysia, Jin Guan Lo. And from Taiwan, Yu Ping Tao. Incredible, all overseas people. Some of them has been at the World Body Painting Festival, but not many of them. And the winner. The winner this year with 116 points. Coming from Malaysia, Jin Guan Lo. Wow, congratulations. Wow, congratulations to Malaysia. We're going to try to connect with Malaysia. I guess this is going to be a really huge task, but look at the images. Oh my God, that was so detailed. It was just amazing. I think the jury was really blown away. Let's have a look on the top 10 listing. Second place goes to Taiwan, Yu Pin Kao. Then third place to Mexico, Ana Maria Castellan. Another Mexican, Adrián Castro Gómez. And another Mexican, Alexis Javier Ariz Ramírez. Wow. Ulyanka Maximuk from Russia. Seventh place, Edith Diaz, Mexico. Emma Riesinen from Finland. And Xenia Susha from Belarus. Karina Push from Germany uh, placed 10. Wonderful. Again, very strong Mexican crowd. I think we had like 30 Mexican participants in this category and also in the brush sponge category. So their crowd, their, their community out there is really, really strong. Anyway, the winner I hear is not there. I'm sorry, Malaysia, what time? I guess two o'clock in the night or maybe three. He will wake up tomorrow, I guess, with a surprise. The trophy will not be there, but he will see the winning scores. Congratulations once again. World champion face painting goes to Malaysia. And then Filippo has got our next talk. Yes, sitting with me is a dear friend and the famous Israeli makeup artist, Einat Dan. This week, you did a lot of judging. Can you tell us some of your favorite moments, not including <laughs> that last vote? OK. Uh, well, it's always very interesting to judge in the World Body Painting Festival because it's the first time I see so many different style techniques and imagination from all over the world. And it's amazing to see how each country has their own style. And uh, I think I judged more than 400 people. Wow. <laughs> so I'm exhausted, wow. but it's fun. <laughs> yes, the judging can be hard. Yes, it's yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. Now, besides being a makeup artist, you are also an art director. Right. Please tell us about your latest film, Dowhouse. Okay, so um, I'm a makeup artist for more than two decades, but lately um, I start uh, working for fashion films. That means I also create the, the contest, the, 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 I'm writing the script, I'm art directing them, I'm working with the director, sometimes I direct the films. And uh, Dollhouse is the last film, which I really love. Uh, I worked in Dollhouse with my dear, dear friend, Birgit Mortel, that I met <laughs> here. And uh, she did the whole set design. Um, and this is really fascinating because I'm doing the makeup, I'm doing the art direction, I'm really in charge of everything, I'm, pro I'm producing the film, actually. So it's a, a new world for me, and I love it so much. Ah, very intriguing. I have seen some of your films, and... They always blow me away. So let's take a closer look at the dollhouse, shall we? Yes.
Wow, this is indeed surreal. Uh, congratulations, Einat, on winning this acknowledgeable award. And every production that you put on is just amazing. I wish I'm there once for the production <laughs> behind stage because I really want to know Maybe more next about time. that. The next, the next award is the Rich Smoky Award. It's a new category. It's uh, actually we wanted to have that live, but this year it's the first category that we have new in the online, and it's a very big. Cat no, it's not a very big category, it's a boutique category driven for the makeup artist. We wanted to have another opportunity for makeup artists in our competitions. So, um, Einat, uh, what is the special challenge in the Rich Smoky category? Uh, well, it's different than the other category because the focus here is only on blending. So, when we speak about smoky eyes, actually, it has to be on the eyes, uh, but it can be even more, uh, but uh, the focus is on the eyes and uh, I think in the festival everything is like bigger and stronger and here it, it could be more minimalist. So the participants sometimes did exaggerate a bit too much in this category? Mm, yeah, I okay. think so they, they didn't understand exactly what is this. Rich um, smoky means rich and smoky. And smoky, <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, let's take a look on the top submissions once again in random order in this category. <laughs> So for this category, we have prepared this wonderful world or like big special award trophy. Einar, we're going to hand that over and let's have a look on the top four band. <laughs> top four. Ingrid Anderson from the United States. Yasmina Valtos, Finland. Mandy Chuk, China. And Julia Bedensack. Ukraine. Wow, again a very international one. We have only one winner, of course, which is coming from 142 points, China. Mandy Chuk. Congratulations. First place. First time going to China. A big applause and congratulations for this wonderful work. Let's take a look on the listings. I cannot imagine there will be one on the other side, but let's try. So we have on the second place, Jasmina Walters from Finland, 130 points, Julia Benzak from the Ukraine, Ingrid Anderson, US, Jin Wu Zong, Taiwan, Sophie Fouquet from France, Rin Li A, ah, South Korea, Emma Lopez, Spain, Rim Jeon Bo, South Korea, and Yoon Ga Kim. Wow, that's a Tom Greger. South Korea, 89 points. Top 10, wonderful. South Korea is very strong once again. Mexico, South Korea, and Sma uh, 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 Italy, looks like. They do the job. Ni Hao to Beijing. Is there someone on the other line? <laughs> yeah, okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mandy, can you hear me? Yes. Congratulations. Hello. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations on the Rich Smoky Makeup Award in 2021. Incredible. We had such a strong competition. The top were really like. It's also rich, smoky, the makeup, the look. And hey, Mandy, what's the time in your area now? You might be very early in the morning. Yeah, yeah now it's like 11.15. <laughs> 
at night time, so it's a little bit late. <laughs> But <laughs> we are so, so exciting to see this show. All my friends are watching now. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, you know what? Have you ever been in the festival in Austria? Yeah, I was like um, four years ago. I think I've been there the second time. The first time is I was still a assistant. I was working with Karen Yu. Okay. I think you guys know Karen Yu. She is my teacher as well. So I was a surprise her. She didn't know I was joining this competition too. <laughs> and how and did then, you work? Where did you work? Did you work at home and online at home, or did you go to your studio? Uh, where did you work? I was working in a studio because now uh, it's a pandemic, so uh, we are working in a studio with small team, like photographer. I want to thank you for more, my photographer, my uh, model, and my my friend Laura. She make, making a little piece with the the, the clothes stuff, the accessory. <laughs> wow. Okay. So. For the next year, I hope that we can expect you back for the 25th anniversary of the World Body Painting Festival. Can we do that? Can we expect you? Yeah, I wish it. Yeah, I will. I definitely will join again. Thank you so much to have Thank me. You. Thank you so much. Congratulations you. once again. Congratulations to China. Thank you. Einat, so, so. please take the microphone. You know, uh, the next act, usually we have here the action painter, Mike Shane. Mike Shane has been already for many, many years at the World Body Painting Festival, and very often he is late once again. <laughs> they are down there. I don't know if they're just taking a break, a cigarette or whatsoever, but let's talk about special creative makeup. Let's talk about rich, smoky makeup. Let's talk about makeup categories at the World Body Painting Festival. I have to come up with something, you know, so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Creative makeup, we started when? 10 years ago, I now 12 years ago? Maybe 10 or 12 years ago. I mean, I'm part of the festival since uh, 19 years, I think. And um, I came with the idea, why not? I saw that there is many makeup artists coming to the festival, but they don't really do body painting. So I came up with the idea that maybe we can make some creative makeup for them. And, um, and it was a big success. And then I see how, how every year it's getting bigger and bigger and more countries coming for the creative makeup. And I think it's amazing to give them opportunity. I think it's a very strong competition yeah. now. I mean, Rich Smokey, this category was not that. Uh, it was the first time. It was the first time. It has to build up. Yes. But now we have creative makeup, we have special effects makeup, we have rich smoky makeup, yeah. we have the makeup battle in the live yeah, event. So true. we have wide range to attract a lot of makeup yeah. artists out there. And thank you for your support, thank Einat. You. You've always been part of this community for always. like 20 years, or 18 years or yeah. something. <laughs> We're going to celebrate for sure 20 years. For so sure. let's have a look. Um, are they... Mike is ready, okay, wonderful. Not really, but okay. So we need some more action painting up here. Mike Shane is an action painter. Yes. I was really afraid to ask him to do something here because usually when he comes on a stage on a live event and our uh, show production company, Drone Berger, he knows exactly what I mean because he makes a mess, but not today. <laughs> <laughs> I backed him, I backed him. We need some more action on paint. We need some more action up here on stage, okay? Please welcome with me the famous Mike Shane. Support act with Andreas Hagemann. With mehr, yeah, mehr, yeah. Mal mich an, mach mich bunt, bedecke meine Haut Lass mich deine Leinwand sein, ich möchte dir vertrauen 
Show beginnt, die Pose sitzt, wir sind voll dabei. Es geht los, wir sind fast nackt, das macht uns frei. Fühlen uns wohl in unserer Haut, werden verstohlen, bestaunt, es wird geduschelt und geraunt und auch Jolen ist erlaubt. Unsere Körperoberfläche, der Mat ist die Leinwand. Das nass der Farbe, kühl und den Einwand. Bodypainting sein Porno, ersteck ich im Keim. Diese Kunstform kann von Vorurteilen befreien. Es ist real, rein, echt und kein Schein. Jede Pore voll Farbe, das Werk kann nicht sein. Weil Nacktheit den Fakt zeigt, dass wir alle gleich sind. Egal ob wir arm oder reich, wir ein Scheich sind. Die Haut bleibt die Grenze zur äußeren Welt, doch wird sie heute erweitert, mal sehen, ob's gefällt. Lehnt euch zurück und genießt die Show, Farbe auf Haut, ein ganz eigener Flow. Die Farbe, sie ist heute meine zweite Haut. Paradiesvogel für einen Tag, ich bin vollkommen eingetaucht. Ja, die Farbe, Sie ist heute meine zweite Haut Alle Blicke gebannt, es gibt niemand, der jetzt noch zur Seite schaut Wir sind Chef und mein Mike Schill Als die zweite Haut habe ich mir zugetraut Hab allen meinen Körperteilen beim Bunterwerden zugeschaut Erbra schütten, Pinselstrich und all den Schichten ich Aufgepimpt durch Farbpigment werde ich zum Über ich Irgendwie verbindet's mich mit Vorfahren Uhr an Tausende Jahre verzieren Menschen ihre Haut mit Farbe Festakt, Fasching, Kinderplanung Rauchtum oder Kriegsbemalung Freigewählte Färbung, Ästhetik plus Athletik Das unterscheidet die Menschheit von den Tieren Hey, ich verstehe nicht, diskutiert ihr allen Ernstes noch, ob Bodypainting Kunst ist? Schaut einfach zu und erklärt mir, was das sonst ist Ohne Kunst wäre die Menschheit nur ein Haus Haufen Barbaren hätte sich selbst ausgerottet schon vor tausenden Jahren. Für den Moment so viel Aufwand ist doch kolossal. Ein Gang zur Dusche, all die Kunst im Kanal. Die Farbe, sie ist heute meine zweite Haut. Paradiesvogel für einen Tag, ich bin vollkommen eingedaucht. Ja, die Farbe, sie ist heute meine zweite Haut. Alle Blicke gebannt, es gibt niemand, der jetzt noch zur Seite schaut. Penning meets hip hop. Give me some love, man. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, Mike. Yeah, Mike man. Shane. On a somber note, thank you for such a colorful explosion You're on the stage welcome. without getting us all painted. Well, I would have loved to, but I never can. Ah. Next life. So, this installation is dedicated to a dear friend of yours that recently passed away. He was a big part of your creative life. Yeah, it was Tom Foto who knows him, has to love him or had to love him. Basically, I just want to say bye, Tom. I want to say thank you, Tom. Without him, this all wouldn't have been uh, what it is today. And um, yeah. What else is there to say? Um, he inspired me. He was my best friend. He walked along the path for 20 years. He's the guy who, who made all the great pictures of my, of my career, most of them. And once again, I just want to thank him. I want to thank Andy mit mehr yeah. Please tune in to that guy. He's pretty awesome. And then thanks to Kati and thanks to Here we go, Sarah, and thanks to Nico, and thanks to Musa, and thanks backstage to Lisa. Thanks, everybody. We love you. We love the Body Painting Festival. We'd love to be back next year, live if possible. Yes, thanks. Yes, live. It's so important to capture 
your actions so we can forever enjoy that memory through the art of photography. Speaking of memories, sadly, we have lost a few others from our community. Alex, can you please share some of the memories with us? Yeah, two other people that were part of the festival for many, many years sadly left our world in the past year. The first, I would like to say my condolences, my deepest condolences to the family of William Assis and his family and team as Frank Assis, who supported us for so many years from Diamond Effects, is no longer with us. Another photographer, friend since the beginning of the festival and main part of the photo and festival community, Oswin Eda, left us too. I'm happy to have his daughter today in the audience here in the concert house, as well as our dear friends Ernst Wieser, judge since the beginning, and director of the photo area of the festival, Ulf Schelling. Hello and welcome. In 1999, Oswi initiated our first photo competition that we still have up to these days. Back then, judging was done in the old-fashioned way by printing out papers, by manual scores. We had hundreds of images lying out across tables and Maybe you see some now, some images on the screen. Um, I remember when Ulf said to us, hey, let's go to this hall, and the year later we go to another hall, a bigger one, and we print it out. Oswin Eder was also a guy who jumped up everywhere on stage. He was doing the, photo, the photos of the festival crowd, and he was just everywhere. Um, we had hundreds of images from him, from Ernst, from the body painting community. But Ulf, what was your fondest memory of working with Oswin at the festival? We want to have beautiful memories, of course. Yes, Alex. L please let me answer in German, because I'm a little bit emotional when I'm talking about Oswin. Du hast es ja schon gesagt, Oswin war im Prinzip der Begründer der Fotografie am Body Painting Festival. Du hast mich nach meiner initialen Begegnung mit ihm gefragt, das war 2001, wo wir, wo wir im Nachhinein vom Festival Fotos angesehen haben und er mal prinzipiell meine Fotos scharf kritisiert hat. Künstler, Fotografen stehen nicht so sehr auf Kritik, aber der Ossi hat das eigentlich fördernd gemeint. Es ist eine wunderbare Freundschaft entstanden über die letzten 20 Jahre und wir haben wirklich sehr viele Erinnerungen vom Festival, von den Workshops, die wir gemeinsam machen durften, über die Festivals und die Jurierung. So Ulf is uh, trying, I, I try to explain that in English to our crowd. Um, so uh, you had an inner friendship, a very intense friendship over the last 20 years. And Oswin was for you also a master where he was one of the only people criticizing in a good way, of course, to tell you what to do, how to change, how to develop. And uh, Ulf is very happy about this feedback from him. They worked to, within many, many projects over such a long time, a period of time with Ernst, and they crafted basically both of their talents, photography, body painting, and thank you very much, Ulf, for this. Um, so. Uh, Oswi started already to combine body painting and photography with, uh, in the 90s. And Ernst, you both came from the same area. Um, you have done already body painting with him and photography long before the festival, basically. We connected in 1999 for the first time. But tell us, about, tell us something about the early stages. Oh, yeah. Oswin, Ossi was my friend. We were really good friends, maybe more than 30 years. And we started in, in the final of the 80s to climb a little bit mountains. We have the same profession. He was a good photographer, and I was an airbrusher. I'm airbrushing since more than 40 years. And so we came together with painting and the photography. 
and we made a lot of different things, themes, body painting, uh, climbing, also make journeys, and we had a, a really a funny and a very cool time. I'm very sad he's now over, but in our heart he is still alive. As a way of keeping the memory of Oswin alive, we have decided to dedicate the photo award in his name. I explained it a little bit. The World Body Painting Festival has every year hundreds of photographers in the photo area. All of these photos were sent after the festival in a competition. Ulf is in the judging team already for very, very many years, and we are judging hundreds, actually thousands of images. And uh, this photo competition, we put all the time in a magazine together. The photo magazine is a very, yeah, it's like the printed version of what we get digitally in, and we send out to everybody. We talk about the art, we talk about photography, we talk about content, what happened throughout the festival, and especially this magazine is um, a very important tool to talk with our community. I mentioned already that we wanted to dedicate the award to Oswin Eder. So one of these trophies that you saw earlier, the big world championship trophies, we give out always together um, in winter when the competition has finished. And this award will be for the future, the Oswin Eder Photo Award. We are where we are carrying on. Photography is very important, as we said, and one of the very intense, one of the very intense competitions is the special effects makeup category. It's a huge highlight because special effects is so strong for photography. It combines a lot of different um, crafts, painting, sculpting, with working with applications, etc. Our judge, Ernst Wieser, is going off the stage. <laughs> Ernst, we talk so much about other people. Now, I'm sorry. Ernst, we have talked so much about other people now. And where the time, can you please give us an experience as a judge this week? How did you experience this week? This week, yes, it was similar, the same like last year. Everything was on the internet, but we had a good time also in the city of Klagenfurt, the installations, or also the, the competition. Uh, and we, we had a good time here because a little bit was live, but it was very heavy to make the judgment on the computers. <laughs> Please but not again. <laughs> The installations were really uh, tasking because it was so hot in the city. It was like 30 degrees every day, and we heard that before already how difficult it is to do installations in a city. But let's have a look now on one of the installation days. You were featured in that one too that took place here in Klagenfurt.
And now let's get back to the Special Effects Makeup Awards presented by Krylon. Thank you, Ernst, for joining me. This is a boutique category, but very spectacular. It takes a lot of effort to create eye-catching looks. Working with foam, I mentioned before, and latex can require a long preparation time. And I remember special effects artists coming to the festival. They started already in autumn to design, to sculpt, to be ready for the festival in Austria for the summer, for example. They take sometimes eight, nine, ten months ahead. Last year, we had the first ever winner from Greece, special effects artist Evie Zimpi. Here is a response of her to her experience from last year. Hello, I am Evie Zimpi from Greece, the winner of the category Special Effects Makeup 2020. Θυμάμαι ότι όταν είδα την ανακοίνωση λέω εδώ είμαστε, πάμε, Μα το χαρούμε και ότι γίνει, οπότε βρήκα την ιδέα. Η έπνευσή μου ήρθε από το ίδιο το θέμα, η πολλούσα και ήθελα να δημιουργήσω κάτι το οποίο να παραπέμπει κατευθείαν το μάτι του θεατήματος που το δει ε, στο θέμα. Συγχρόνως ήθελα να έχει κάποια πρωτοτυπία το σχέδιο και την αισθητική του δική μου. Ήθελα να βγάλω ένα κομμάτι του εαυτού μου να δείξω μένους καλλιτέχνη. Είχα φτιάξει μια βάση στο μυαλό μου με το τι περίπου ήθελα να κάνω, αλλά όλο αυτό εξελίχθηκε κατά τη διάρκεια του YouTube. Συνήθω έτσι μου Wow, and she really did such a crazy design. She was winning far ahead last year. And if he Thank you for telling us. It's very exhausting sometimes for us to put all the clips together this week, especially when we don't know how good the audio or the visual quality is from stuff that we get in. But we try our best to let you experience her. So let's have a look on the 20 top submissions of this category in random order. Oh wow, incredible work, the top 20 in the special effects makeup category presented by Krylon. And now let's have a look on the top four in random order. Band, Papa's Got Soul. Coming from the United States, Meredith Johns. Julie Samin from France. Melissa Thompson from the United States and Erika Ponche from Mexico. Very international. Two Americans, France, Mexico. Beautiful work. And the winner in this category with 122 points is going to the United States Melissa Thompson, congratulations. Melissa Thompson, this trophy is yours. First place in special effects makeup. While we try to connect, because I think it's quite early in the morning over there in the United States, let's have a look on the listing on the top 10. Second place, Meredith Johns from the United States. Third, Julie Samin from France. Erica Ponce, Mexico. Luisa Anna Diaz from Mexico. Hugo Arizzi from Italy. Aurora Avil, Mexico. Angela Youngs, United Kingdom. Sharon Alexa Hidwa 
Vasquez from Mexico, Alejandra Gaiola from Mexico, 77 points. And now let's have a look if the live visual is there. Okay, no, she's trying. Let's have a look. Nah, my Regie Karen says no. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> let's have a closer look to some of our hotspots from this year. We go to the hotspots in the UK and South Korea. Here we are at the UK hotspot. We have a festival here every year for body painters. I love the teamwork side of painting. I love the I love the thing that it's the model, the photographer, the artist all working together, and it makes it. You know, it's times when you would back out if it was just you. You, you can't do it because it's your mates and it's your team and you want to do it for them as well. And I think that is why the community is so strong. So many people find courage and self-esteem in body painting because there is that cohesive feel of everybody working together. Most of our artists are quite young, but they are very passionate and creative. I miss everything. To everyone, stay safe and see you again soon. Anio Haseo to Korea. Thank you for the insights in both the UK and Korea. As I told you before, or Filippo explained to you, we have a lot of creative hotspots around the world and we are featuring them here and there. Ernst, how many categories did you judge this week? Oh, I think about seven. Seven. <laughs> so that's many hours in our office hours and hours and viewing and viewing of a lot of images. Thank you very much, Ernst. Thank you. Um, we are having a short break, two minutes only. Stay tuned. Vorankommen, ohne zu weit zu gehen. Ausbrechen aus Schubladen, in die wir gesteckt werden. Dem Stillstand einen Schritt voraus sein. Und stark machen für das, was uns wichtig ist. Aufbäumen für unsere Zukunft. Werde jetzt Teil von Team 500 und hol dir deine gratis Garmin Uhr. Nähere Infos auf klv.at. Gemeinsam mehr bewegen die Kärntner Landesversicherung. Verbinden Sie das einzigartige Spielgefühl eines akustischen Pianos mit der Freiheit, zu jeder Tages- und Nachtzeit spielen zu können, ohne jemanden zu stören. Mit einem Yamaha Silent Piano. Yamaha Silent Pianos mieten. Im Klavierhaus Langer um 79 Euro pro Monat. 
Freuen Sie sich auf bodenständige Küche mit dem gewissen Etwas im Bierhaus zum Augustin. Genießen Sie zeitgemäße Kaffeekultur im Café Domgassner und erleben Sie gut bürgerliche Küche und das historische Ambiente im Landhaushof. Look. Welcome back to the last segment of tonight's show. We have two more online categories. Two online categories. The Amateur Award and the Very Spectacular Special Effects Body Painting Award. With the amateur category attracting a huge amount of participants, also for the first time in history, and the one and only live category, the Camouflage Awards. But before that, let's go to Alex with his special guest, Leon. Welcome, Leon. Leon from Tel Aviv, yes, please take a microphone. Thank you very much. It's a big pleasure you, for you uh, having it's a big pleasure for us to have you. Um, for many years, Leon, you have been coming to the festival as a photographer. You're now on our photo team. You have captured thousands and thousands of images from all the participants. Where it's usually very busy, it got very quiet today. Usually you are in the gallery and doing photos with all our competitors. Um, and now, this year, you saw so many entries online. The online entries, you could see who has a bit of a skills in thinking about photography, about light. The importance of photography for artists is very often not there. But COVID accelerated that thought. So all of a sudden, the artist is all by himself, doesn't have a photographer, and he needs these skills. So what is, in your opinion, the best tip, the most important tip that you can share with those artists who really need more about that. Okay. Um, first of all, thank you for having me. It's not, it, it, it is a huge opportunity for me also. I love it. Every year, more and more. Now, the, maybe the one tip I can give the photographers, not the photographers, sorry, the artists who are forced to, to do their photography while not being photographers. You know, the, the one and only tip, photography, is uh, the world built of two Greek words. Photo is light and graphe is to draw. Now you know how to draw, but you need more light. So my one tip, just give your camera more light. The photos will come out better. And then you learn a little bit about composition, but first and foremost, the light. You can take photos in any camera, just give it more light. Light is a very important thing, and um, also in a, in, a, in a judging, wherever. Yep. If you send us some images, it's really such a difference if you have like a proper light setting. Yes. And this is what we spoke also with the artist ahead in the competition to take care on this. So there are so many talented artists out there. And uh, we have uh, every year at the festival, we try to speak about new things, new books, new magazines, new art projects. We had at the last festival in 2019 um, the presentation, for example, of Einat Dan's uh, book that. Beyond Beauty. Yep, I remember that. Um, so the festival is a very important opportunity for artists to showcase new things. And just recently I got sent this beautiful book 
from a photographer, an artist I haven't never seen or heard before, Jean-Paul Bourdieu, Body Mirrors. And you see here some images on the screen from him. He is an incredible talent. He's already, well, he's got published already four or five of these books. And I just want to feature this and show you how body painting can also look like with a composition of art photography. Um, he uses multiple crafts, among them painting and poetry, performance art, and in his imaginary, he uses no digital enhancement. It is all analog photograph. Okay. What you see is what you get. He's not touching this photo out of the camera. Leon, what do you think about this approach in traditional and non-edited photography? Okay, uh, first of all, it's beautiful. I like it very much. I uh, see it for the first time, and it, it is good, very good. Now, talking about, talking about a classical non-digital photography, again, we, we have uh, more than 160 years of regular photography, the film photography, 160 years to develop this technology. This is a very highly intensely developed technology. It is very good. And then we have all, all uh, just a, a, a bit more than 20 years of digital technology. So digital is young. The analog film technology is very, very well based. So you can take it and just put it without editing. If you decide not to edit, it is a, an artistic decision to edit or not. If you decide not to edit, means you are giving the technology, the I don't want to use upper the, the term upper hand, but you are deciding to to give up some uh, last touches to the technology. You can do it with the film. You can I think you can less do it now with the digital, because the, techno the digital technology is younger. But the approach is good. It's working. That's like the, it, the craft, right? It's a yeah, craft. Yeah. And of course, with you know, digital... It, it is a decision. If you ask, if you, for right. example, you ask him, do you dis, would you decide to use this kind of paint or this kind of paint? This mm. is technology. This is the artistic decision to decide to, use, to, to take photos on film and not to, to edit them is an artistic decision. I accept it. I like the, 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 the job is done. Thank you. OK, so do you have any current photo project uh, with body painting or oh, with makeup, so for example. There are so many. We Tell are us now one, just one, the recent one, the last <laughs> one. The most important one, we are reopening our studio and studio in Tel Aviv after uh, the COVID uh, pandemics. And this time in the new studio, we will divide our um, activities to two parts, production, and education. We will be we will be making many many workshops, and uh, we will invite many artists from Europe from all over the world and to present. And we're going to connect with our WB Academy workshops with you. We're going to invite you to do many mini programs. I would and love also that. we want to try to um, develop the skills for the artists to reach out to this I topic. Would, I would love that very much. I like it. I like. I like to be a part of this mixed event, you know, multidisciplinary is very enriching for me, and uh, I, I'd like to thank you again for the opportunity. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Thank you, Leon. So, Body Mirrors from Jean Paul Boudier. If you want to so know more about it, visit our association's website, wb association.org. So, now we are going back on stage to Filippo, where he is waiting for the next awards, namely the Amateur Awards. The Amateur Awards, presented by Asia Color, is made of students and emerging artists. Therefore, it's not considered as a world champion award. Surprisingly, though, the quality was out of this world. We recommend that the top submissions enter next year into the World Awards. Let's look at these top 20 submissions in random order.
Congratulations, Yen Ji Su, South Korea. Wow, wow. Ah. We just watched at some beautiful images. We had 20 stop Nobody submissions. Told me. Now we have our band and we are coming ah. to the top four in the amateur awards. Showing on screen, Rion Lee Mi, South Korea, Wendy Hook Van Bantum from the Netherlands, John Yi Su from South Korea, and Daniela Dil. Kubilus from Switzerland. Oh my god, this really difficult name. And the winner. Coming with 111 points from South Korea. Yong Ji Su. Congratulations to the Amateur Awards 2021. Applause, please. Thank you very much. Let's have a look on the top 10 listing. Yes. We are going to the lists we have here. Second place, Wendy Hook van Bentum, Netherlands. We have Rion Mi Lee from South Korea, Daniela Kubilus from Switzerland, Da In Yon from South Korea, Hyo In Che, South Korea, Yu Hui Su, Taiwan, Hu G. Kim, South Korea, oh my god. Suhi Yo, South Korea, and Jesse Santa Maria. Yeah, that sounds a bit nicer. Costa Rica, 92 points. The top 10. Applause to the top 10. Thank you very much for these submissions. I must say that the Amateur Award had a really strong quality. All of the top 10, actually all of the top 20, they really should go into the world categories next year. Now, let's take a look and let's take a flight to the yes. charming city of Barcelona. By the way, Filippo, isn't that your hometown? Yes. I wish it was that. Yeah. So, where we find let's... the Cascara Image Group and their WBF Creative, Creative Hotspot. Cascara. Hola, this is Barbara Alfaro. I'm Marta Rio. I am Malopez. And we are the hotspot here in Barcelona, Spain. Our professional makeup artists want to spread Spanish art around the world. Cascara Image Group was created 35 years ago as the first makeup school in Spain. Now we teach makeup, hairdressing, aesthetics, and image consultancy. It's been a pleasure to participate once again in this online edition. I hope you enjoy our Spanish creations. See you next year. Adios. Effects body painting is something very challenging. Artists in this genre very often work in the movie industry. They combine foam and latex with body painting and shaping the body. This usually takes a lot of planning. We welcomed Italian special effects WB Academy instructor and artist Andrea Benucci as part of our online judging team. Andrea, please tell us what are some of the important aspects of special effects body painting and special effects makeup. And I think that uh, uh, what I personally uh, research is time is, of course, the most perfect possible uh, blending between the edges of the prosthetics and the skin in order not to understand uh, where really prosthetics are because uh, we need to uh, 
trick the eye to uh, fool the eye in order to make this uh, uh, make up uh, like uh, alive creatures apart from this i always research uh, a sort of uh, harmony in uh, big proportions uh, i like when uh, mm, body shapes heads especially are distorted are transformed in something really really interesting and really harmonic so i really hope uh, to see alive creatures and not only uh, beautifully decorated uh, persons models i mean um, i am also uh, an instructor of uh, world body painting academy and i will teach uh, um, the, in the sculpting phase uh, how to achieve those textures those shapes those forms that are um, typical of nature but that are also very very interesting uh, in uh, every special effect ciao 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 thank you andrea benocci judge this week has been judge already at the past festival and we are really looking forward to have some beautiful workshop programs with him for the next year, we prepared a special effects program with him. So from autumn on, you will see all the information about the WB Academy. Every year, this is a very intense program, but we also tried to have the WB Academy online in the World Body Painting Festival week this week. We streamed every day from morning till the late afternoon various programs with our instructors. But to get a feeling what it means to have a normal workshop program. Let's have a look on a flashback on an old festival in Klagenfurt. <laughs> World Award Special Effects Body Painting. Lots of preparations, exhausting. Ulf Schelling, thank you for joining me here on stage to hand over the next big award presented by Krylon. We're gonna have a look now on the top 20 submissions in this category in random order. Once again, incredible work, and wow, these special effects, they just every year blew me or blow me away. So, who are the top four out of this category? Coming from Mexico, Alejandra Huertgayol. Second, Mona Jin Wiener from South Korea. Random order once again. Yekaterina Mikhailina Milanova, Russia. And Noe Duran, Mexico. He was actually winner of the brush sponge category. But this year, the winner 
is coming with 140 points from South Korea, Muna Jin Wiener. Wow, congratulations. Another World Awards trophy for Muna. She has been at the festival already many, many times, and I really hope, I really hope that she is on the other line. Any, oh, she's here already. Mona! Yeah, hello. hello! Congratulations! Thank you so Mona much! Mona Jin Wiener. Oh my God, yeah. Wiener. Very American name because she's married to an American. Congratulations yeah. for the special uh, effect body painting. And yeah. where are you now? Are you in Korea or are you in the US? No, here is uh, my Mother Christmas studio in, in Atlanta. USA. Okay, I didn't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, um, uh, Muna, yeah. you have been at the festival before, you have done the online competition. Just a yeah, quick note, week. how exhausting was the online competition? Um, how did you say how, how tired? Oh, uh, actually, I didn't have time this. I decided just the uh, World Bad Quick Festival this year. But didn't have time. But I wanna enjoy. I wanna meet my beautiful mother, Krishna. And oh, okay, go. I wanna enjoy that. Just that I didn't expect this one. So good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Very. Thank you. Kamsahamnida, <laughs> <laughs> South <laughs> Korea, <laughs> Mona Jin yeah. Wiener. Let's take a look on the top ten list. Second place is. Alejandra Huert from Mexico. Nuan Noe Duran, third place, Mexico. He placed number one last year in the breast sponge and he tried special effects body painting this year. Fourth place, oh my God. Yekaterina Mikhailina Milavanova, Russia. Olena Semets from the Ukraine. Michael Müller, he was working this week at the festival week in Klagenfurt from Germany. Jelena Pitjensa from Latvia, Jacqueline Zuiskin Oteman from Belgium, Yul uh, Lulian Ili Parishiv, Parishiv, Romania, and Hector Flores Lopez from Mexico. Okay, so now we have finished our awarding of the. Do you see something? Is there? Yeah, great. So um, now we have finished our online awards. Oh my God. That was the last online awards. It was exhausting for everybody, I guess. I would love to have a real festival and have thousands of people here clapping permanent. Where's actually the clapping? I think it's already too long, this show. Come on, give us a little clap, clap, clap. So, we move on to the live category. But first, to get into the mood of a live category, you need to see what it means to be live at the festival. Let's take a walk around in Body Paint City.
in we saw this. So with me here up on the podium, Johannes Stötter, the Grand Master of Camouflage Body Painting. And we have seen you before performing the half an hour before we started the show where you were camouflaging this wonderful model, Malgosha. She was already very often this week in action. Johannes, we talk about camouflage body painting. What's the difficulty in the camouflage body painting? Yeah, first of all, you uh, have to concentrate on one angle only. You That's have to... why we try the crane camera in here to exactly. always to be in a position where you work. That's right. And you have to turn back uh, many times uh, while painting to that angle. Another difficulty is that uh, the body is not flat, it's round. So you have to be aware of the three-dimensionality of the body. And then, of course, matching exactly the colors, matching all the lines. Uh, making the model stand exactly in the same position for hours, maybe. For hours, indeed, because when we started half an hour before the show here, he was already working for an hour and a half. So Magosha is already up there for quite some time, and I'm very happy and thankful that she does it. We need a patient model, and we had this year um, the first time the Camouflage Award. It's a new category, a world championship category. This category is purely judged on how good the camouflage of, yeah, of the model is into the background. It's also about colors, as you said. It's also about composition, how the artist is placing the model. So this week we had every like every uh, every part contestant out of these um, had a spot we picked before and it was an outdoor spot outdoor we had really hard light conditions in an outdoor venue we need to see shadows we need to have the opportunity to not have too much sunlight but also indoors is a bit of a trick if I look back here and all these lights and all these reflections in the body painting, it's amazing actually how that looks like. Johannes, what about the contestants in this week? What about the contestants that you, what's the feedback from them when they attended the Camouflage Awards? I think they were um, happy with um, the locations. Of course, some of them had more difficult spots than others, also more difficult light conditions. Uh, it was not easy, actually, to choose the locations. M most of them were uh, in a place where sooner or later the sun would come. Yeah. Uh, it was also not easy to choose locations with the same difficulty, with the same light conditions. Um, but we did our best, and I think we, yeah. we got there. So indeed, a world championship title, because there is a lot to look at. Timing, conditions, outdoor conditions. You have to be very fast, actually, to create such a camouflage body painting. But to get a little bit of an idea what was happening in the last couple of days within this competition, we're going to have a look on a video, a, a video clip.
and now welcome dear judges on stage. Not everybody is here. There was also Elena Talia Pietra. She is now in Italy working on a job. Johannes Stetter, who uh, we interviewed already from Italy. Bella Volen from Bulgaria living in Vienna. And Filippo Ayoko. He also was part of the judging team in the World Championships Camouflage Body Painting. So we come to the prize awarding. We have third place in the World Camouflage Award coming from Germany, Christiane Rempel. The second place, Christiane, is she here actually? Please come up. It's a live event, it's a live, it's a live award. We're very happy, there are the stairs. Christiane Rempel, Germany, third place. World Championships Camouflage Body Painting. The second place is coming also from Germany, but unfortunately she couldn't make it. Jessine Mavedel, second place, Jessine Mavedel. She did this week a lot. She did installations, she did the camouflage. She really has a hard time because she has a baby and she wanted to make these beautiful installations as good as possible. And I really admire how much effort she puts in that. First place, Bella Volen, come ahead. First place is coming from Sweden, Vilja Vidkutje. Please come on stage. Vilja Vidkutje. Congratulations. Vilja, I think you had this week also quite an exhausting week. You did installations, exhibition, opening, vernissage, camouflage. You have a kid with you. Pfft, amazing. I couldn't do that at all. Sadly, sadly, we're coming to an end. Vilja, dear judges, Christiane, come here to the middle, please. We have the beautiful model, the camouflage model, Malgosha. Thank you for lasting three hours. Can I have an applause for that, please? Sadly, we have come to an end tonight. The show initially really started as a small concept, and we grew over week, over week, and all of a sudden we are here in the concert house. The only thing, we didn't have as many or as good professional moderation. I apologize for that, but I think we did okay. Or? Or, Filippo, what do you think? Hello, it was dear audience. Yeah. It was good. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I say thank you. I have to say thank you to all the people working backstage. Thank you for the camera guys, for the Rishi. Thank you for our competitors, for the artists, everybody who is working in the makeup and the tone. The support to the city, of the city, it's very important. Thank you to my co-host, Filippo Ayoko, and thank you for this amazing band, Papa Got Soul. We want to hear some more tunes, because now I'm going to have a drink. I'm going to have a drink with you. I'm going to have a drink with you. I want to have a drink with everybody. Thank you to the city of Klagenfurt. Thank you to the Tourism Board. Thanks to all our sponsors and supporters. Thank you, dear audience, for being here. We shall see at the 25th anniversary of the World Body Painting Festival next year in Klagenfurt in Austria. Save the date for the 17th to the 23rd July 2022.
Werde jetzt Teil von Team 500 und hol dir deine gratis garmin uhr Nähere Infos auf klv.at. Gemeinsam mehr bewegen die Kärntner Landesversicherung. Verbinden Sie das einzigartige Spielgefühl eines akustischen Pianos mit der Freiheit, zu jeder Tages- und Nachtzeit spielen zu können, ohne jemanden zu stören. Mit einem Yamaha Silent Piano. Yamaha Silent Pianos Mieten im Klavierhaus Langer um 79 Euro pro Monat. Freuen Sie sich auf bodenständige Küche mit dem gewissen Etwas im Bierhaus zum Augustin. Genießen Sie zeitgemäße Kaffeekultur im Café Domgassner und erleben Sie gut bürgerliche Küche und das historische Ambiente im Landhaushof. Vorankommen, ohne zu weit zu gehen. Ausbrechen aus Schubladen, in die wir gesteckt werden. Dem Stillstand einen Schritt voraus sein. Und stark machen für das, was uns wichtig ist. Aufbäumen für unsere Zukunft. <lacht> 